Welcome to SmackDown Live, and tonight's lineup looks awesome. I've been waiting all week long for this. I cannot wait to see what happens tonight. Well, Byron, I'm feeling a little nostalgic. Since it's SmackDown, why don't you know your role and shut your mouth? Hey. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. We have a great match coming up next versus a formidable opponent. Leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect four. Elbow finds its mark. What a stop. Good grief. Daniel Bryan is one of the most difficult WWE superstars to prepare for. Corey, what would you say is the best way to counteract the leader of the Yes Movement? Look, I don't particularly like most of the people in the crowd or watching on TV for that matter. So, I wouldn't be bothered by Daniel Bryan's overwhelming crowd support, but crowds can get loud for Bryan, and that can phase some superstars. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Let's return to counteracting Bryan's fervent fan base. Byron, how can an opponent deal with Daniel Bryan and his passionate fans? It's going to take laser focus, Michael. And if you're a popular WWE star, you might want to consider a pair of earplugs for the night because the WWE Universe probably won't be in your corner if Daniel Bryan is your opponent. And the Miz, the quick cover. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Going to take a whole lot more. his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that'll mess up your neck. Man. Bulls line! Oh, light sweep. Nicely done. We've got one of the best ever math technicians in the ring right here. Guys, how can you beat Daniel Bryan? Well, as you alluded to, Michael, you don't want to get caught up grappling with Daniel Bryan. He's got counters for almost any move and tons of submissions that he can apply from any angle. No matter how good you think you are on the mat, Daniel Bryan is probably better. you got to believe this one's over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I want to go back to our dick. He's looking at it. What does the Miz have to do at this point to stay in this match? Such vicious strikes. Victory is on the horizon. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. The yes lock is in. The yes lock is in. Unreal. This might be it. Oh, my. But he's got to capitalize now. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Watch it. Miz. Nailed it. Oh, it's over. He's calling for it. And see, let's go! Pressing finale! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He's got the shoulders down. This guy just refuses to quit. Wow, I thought this was over. Oh, 
Oh, oh man! Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. Looking for all the glory here. And he got a near fall out of it. He needs to change something fast, guys. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Well, that was a long way down. This is it. Not so fast. On the comeback trail. And he's feeling under a slam. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. And now one more time. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Very impressive, but is it enough to end it here? Smart strategy, attack the knee. Here he goes. Oh. Warm up the bus, this one is over. Here's a cover. One, two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, a hard-fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. His opponent, sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. Michael Cole, Corey Graves, Byron Saxton here to call what will surely be a highly contested matchup. And given the athleticism of these women, this one promises to be Man. can't miss. So much damage inflicted. This takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Uh, oh, twisted. Uh, working on the arm. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. Back now inside the ring. Caught with the elbow. Right on 
the jaw. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Not yet. She's absorbing some offense here. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. And she kicks out with relative ease. Just needs to do more damage. Looks like we've got a bit of an argument here. Come on now, now's not the time for this. Harsh impact. Wait a minute. to seeing her like this. I wonder how she's going to respond here. Oh, what a backbreaker. Man, just ugly impact. She is on fire. Oh, nasty impact. There is no coming back from that one. Oh, no. I don't like Mandy Rose's chances in this one. What? She goes for the quick pin. And she's toying with her now. Byron, in the world of romance, this is what we kiss. Au revoir, Byron. That should do it. Looks like she wants to win early. You're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history. Ooh. Oh man, she's rolling now. Taking a break. The match just started. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE.com's huge traffic numbers last month. like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. Eight. Nine. Great women's action here in WWE. I can tell you nobody's happy about it. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Here is your winner, Mandy. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Oh, come on. That's garbage. Nobody wants a count out. Get them back in the ring, and let's restart this thing. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.
When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It will be Team Luke Gallows taking on an imposing force. This match has greatness written all over it. Luke Gallows looking to do what he does best, beat up whoever's in the ring. Tag team action in full effect, guys, and these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. The club's biggest member, Luke Gallows, is in action here tonight. And he's a true good brother if there ever was one. This might be it! Oh, my! Suplex. Ooh, what an air cut. Ooh, what an air. Harsh impact. Changing it up a bit now. Smart move. I like it. Luke Gallows helped develop the Magic Killer because Gallows didn't just want to win matches, he wanted to put his opponents out of action for a long time. Boom, what impact! He looks a bit off his game here. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Oh, kick to the face! The magic killer from Luke Gallows proves that when you have the power... There it is! The tag has been made! Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. What a poop! Beautiful technique. What a stop! Good grief! Carl Anderson starting to slow a bit. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is cover oh, here. And Anderson with a quick kick out! Still plenty of ammo left in this machine gun. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. And one of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Jerry Woods, Big E, and Kobe Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever, and what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. And off the tag is Carl Anderson. Drop it! What a clothesline! Ouch! When Carl Anderson catches you in the magic killer, it's not a matter of if you're going down, it's a matter of how long you're staying down.
This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The first time the Magic Killer was witnessed on Monday Night Raw, it was realized that it's a maneuver that can not only change the course of a match, but change the course of a career. Regardless of what someone's thoughts are about Carl Anderson as a human being, the power of the Magic Killer can't be debated. The Magic Killer will take you out. Ooh, what an oh, the reversal by Carl Anderson. Back suplex. Oh, no. Face buster. Can't waste any time here. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. Harper in the early cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Still plenty of ammo left in this machine gun. Just a nasty headbutt. Expected nothing less, Cole. Drop kick. It's the mark. Ooh, what impact. Luke Gallows in with the tag. What a strike. He's looking a little off balance. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Takes him down in a major way, too. Wicked clothesline. Knocked him right off his feet. His shoulders are down. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran to the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the Rowan, oh, what an impact! This one's over, guys! Oh no, I don't like Luke Get Rowan going for an early pin. It went like that. Says a lot about a duo. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Who could forget this? I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners, Rowan and Harper, the Bludgeon Brothers. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Oh, I cannot wait. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. The collar and elbow tie-up in a battle for control here. Fifteen years into his WWE career, there were few firsts left for Randy Orton to conquer. 
but he found one when he took Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win, and true to Orton form, it came out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the Glorious One at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. And in the process, Orton became only the 10th person in WWE history to become a Grand Slam champion, which requires you hold the tag titles, the United States title, Intercontinental title, and a WWE championship. Another apex for the apex predator. the impact looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat oh. he needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive he obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could though I'm not sure that's the right approach this match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Beautiful technique. The cover. And he kicks out. Got to put in a little more work than that. Looking to hurt him. Seen Kara in a precarious situation. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. We see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. It's more than appropriate that there's a mysterious aura around Sin Cara, since the name itself in Spanish means faceless. But that's just the beginning when this thrilling luchador hits the ring. Not the all. Uh -oh. This might be it. Oh my. Not the arm. Oh my goodness, crushing it! What does Randy Orton need to do now? You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taken on so much punishment. We've seen Sin Cara earn unbelievable victories over much larger opponents. Just take a look at the Faceless One's victories over the likes of Titus O'Neil Rusev and the bitter rival, the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. The Faceless One's capable of so many amazing maneuvers from the top rope, it's hard to keep track of all of them. You uh-oh. Hung out to dry. Oh! Incredible. Orton better not waste this opportunity. Randy Orton looking in this. He might have it. Oh, out of nowhere. This just might this could do it. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Here is your winner. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Big win here to start the show. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents. Who will reign supreme? Devastating kick. And 
and we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good Ouch. time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Oh! No trouble kicking out of that one. Nah, not yet. Too early. Ooh, what impact. Going goes for the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Not even close. Oh! <laughs> now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Nailed it. Oh, early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. Remarkable. What Shinsuke Nakamura putting together here? Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Oh, oh man. Oh, and the brawl is underway. Right to left. Being exchanged. And this superstar... Trying to get away, trying to retreat. Wants nothing to do with this matchup. Looks like this superstar is trying to take a minute to replan their game. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a game plan. Either way, here comes another superstar throwing them back into the ring. Harsh impact. Too easy for Shinsuke Nakamura to escape. WWE's resident rock star pops the shoulder up there. No, he reverses it. Look at this. Nakamura is letting everyone know exactly how he feels. What a stomp. Good grief. This doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. <laughs> oh, man! Oh. Yeah, he's a guy who can turn up the volume whenever he has to. Back now inside the ring. Yeah, let's hope he can keep this kind of effort going. Dillinger sizing it up. Oh, the tiebreaker. He might just win this thing right here. Uh-oh. To the face breaker. But did he go for it too early? Penny in predicament. And he kicks out. WWE's resident rock star pops the shoulder up there. Ty Dillinger wants to take a chance. Incoming. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. He's going for the pin. And the shoulder gets up in time. Just needs to do more damage. Snapmare takeover. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty. Boom! <laughs> He's playing with him now. I don't think he should get up. From the flying Kinshasa! Wow! Can't waste any time here. Things don't look good for Ty Dillinger. Here we go! Kinshasa! 
That's how you put Willie be victorious. Shinsuke Nakamura did it. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. I remember this part very well. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. He really loves that mic. He ain't messing around. He's not going to keep us waiting, so let's find out. I guess so. Not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. You know this guy came prepared. Here we go. Let's find out. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. Doesn't even begin to describe. Not a care in the world.
Doesn't seem too concerned. from the WWE Universe. That's about as good as it gets. The WWE Universe is behind that statement, no doubt about that. Things have been interesting so far, but now it's... Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And, well, I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Recalling your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey, Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. Sweet. Oh, God, that hurt. Wow. Elbow. Oh, oh, this is what this is going to be. Wheelbarrow. Flapjack. Face first. It's over. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And the kick out by Becky Lynch. Becky's as beautiful as an Irish landscape. And it's tough. Look at this, Byron. She's almost out of it. No. She breaks it. Wow. She's quite the escape artist, Michael. Drop kick. 
Oh, right in the back. Pump handle up and Yaranagi! She goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She's still in this one. Look at her go. Becky Lynch is one of the hardest working competitors in sports entertainment. The unmatched determination and desire that burns inside the Irish last kicker makes her one of the top WWE superstars today. But many people would be surprised to learn her road to WWE. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. Picking up on something you said, Byron, Becky Lynch's path to WWE was far from conventional. Becky went from a competitor on the independent scene to a stunt woman, a flight attendant, and among other professions before she actually returned to sports entertainment. Yeah, let's remember, Cole, Becky Lynch went to clown college, too. I didn't think Becky had to go to school to learn how to be a clown. It seems to be a natural gift for her, especially with those ridiculous goggles she wears. I like them. You would. She is on fire. There it is. Here's the cover. The pinball and the victory. That's an incredible victory and a hard-fought one at that for this superstar. Yeah, much deserved. What incredible matchup we witnessed here tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently the superstar isn't done either. No, not at all. The official trying to back the superstar away. Enough, but... enough. You proved your point. 